Hey YouTube, Travis here. I'd just like to show you my latest uh, acquisition. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad S10. I decided that I wanted a netbook and uh, I was researching them and I found out that no matter what brand you got, whether it was an EPC or a HP Minibook or a Dell Mini 9 or whatever, they all had mostly the same internals. Most of them were Intel Atom. They all had a gig of RAM standard unless you wanted to get into you know the four or five hundred dollar range to get two gigs of RAM and they all had a, like a hundred sixty gig hard drive as a standard it was all fifty four hundred RPM and I decided I want something a little different and that's where this guy comes in this guy has a lot of interesting quirks it's a Lenovo which is pretty much uh, what IBM is today most netbooks have an eight or a nine inch screen this guy features a ten inch screen which is really nice. Uh, one of the reasons I want this guy is to be able to watch uh, Netflix instant streaming wherever I go and it's very nice for that. Not too small at all. Quick look over. You got the power button right there. And This guy has the most awesome set of function keys. You know you hold FN down and you get these other guys here. It's got a button to instantly switch for the F3 right there to instantly switch to the external display, put the computer to sleep, disable the camera for whatever reason, wireless, numerical lock where it takes the uh, J, K, and L and those the 1, 2, 3, U, I, and O, or 4, 5, and 6, etc. And uh, that's pretty cool for doing fast calculations and whatnot. Touchpad is decent size. I haven't had any problems with it. The speaker is actually very loud for a uh, netbook. It's that whole front grill down there. Indicator lights. On this side there's the heat vent, the power connector, VGA out, multimedia card reader, and one USB port. Uh, the other side features a PC card, which is very, very unusual to find on a netbook. This is a mini PC card slot, I think, or a slim factor. So, like, uh, cards put out from Verizon or Singular or other cell phone carriers to use uh, cell phone internet can fit in there. I'm not sure what else would. It's a proprietary slot. Still thought that was pretty cool, though. You've got headphone, microphone jack, second USB port, and the Ethernet jack. The back is just the battery, and uh, this comes with a three cell battery. I get about two to two and a half hours out of a charge for it. And Lenovo's made a six and a nine cell battery, but the six cell sticks out about half an inch, and the nine cell sticks out about an inch beyond that. It's not as flush as the three cell is. And I might go down that road eventually just because uh, people have reported, you know, eight hour charges on the nine cell. And uh, Lenovo touts that it'll run for 11 hours with the screen all the way dimmed and doing the most minimal of tasks, but that's not super realistic. This laptop, uh, the previous owner put PC Linux on it, and uh, I'll slip in a quick video of that booting here in a second, because I just formatted it with Windows XP a little while ago. And... Um, you know, I wanted a netbook, and I realize you sacrifice some things for that. Like, uh, you know, it's a low-voltage computer. It's not uh, not super-duper powerful. But this one is probably one of the most unusual S10 idea pads out there. This guy's been upgraded to 2 gigs of RAM, and it has a solid-state drive. And I'm pretty certain they were not sold that way. Uh, upgrading netbooks is quite easy, and uh, the previous owner took advantage of that, and I was able to benefit from it greatly. I scored this guy for uh, 180 bucks on eBay, which is awesome. Anyway, give her a boot. I slimmed down Windows XP uh, the best I could for now. I've only had this guy a couple days, and uh, it runs quickly enough. One of the big benefits of having a solid state drive, it's got a 16 gig solid state drive from a brand called Super Talent, which is just kind of a generic brand. <clears throat> and... We are pretty much ready to go, which is awesome. Uh, now, like I said, it's a 16 gig drive, and when you have a solid state drive, it's like running a computer with flash memory. You don't quite have the uh, the seek time that you would have on a traditional hard drive, which is a spinning magnetic disk. So, you'll see like programs load a little faster, file access is a little faster. 
All right, let's give her a boot. So you see our indicator lights come on here. And this currently has PC Linux on it. I will make a short video showing Windows XP, or the installation of Windows XP via flash drive. Okay, and we're here. Username is Travis. Password is Travis. I'm wiping this, so this doesn't really matter. And we're ready to go, <laughs> pretty much. Screen is uh, really bright. Don't have any complaints about that. The webcam up here is just a 0.3 megapixel I'm pretty certain which is good enough for Skype and uh, other things like that I've got the laptop running decently lean right now uh, like I said I've only had it for a few days so I've only had a couple days to tweak it let me just hit control delete here and I'll show you task manager right now we're running 19 processes with Task Manager, so we're booting at 18, which isn't super awesome, but uh, I've got a lot of software installed on here, antivirus and all that, so there's some stuff that has to boot, but that's okay. It still runs very lean. I never have any problems playing any online videos or games. Uh, I've played RuneScape a couple times on this guy, just because I was really bored in class, and uh, no complaints whatsoever. Now, this is the first generation Intel Atom, the 1.6, and that, it's pretty decent. It's got hyper-threading and all the things that come with a modern processor, even though it's only 1.6 gigahertz, but... Alright, well, this is going to prove to be a really awesome netbook. It's only two pounds, and it's a solid-state drive, so I can shake it. And I don't have to worry about damaging the hard drive at all. <laughs> but I should be careful of the screen and such. Alright YouTube, well, I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Go buy a Lenovo S10. I have no complaints about this guy. It's really awesome and uh, decently easy to upgrade. Alright, until next time.